Do you have any pointers of what to look out for so that the trust that you work so hard to build is not subverted or undermined? I think the trust is there. In our case, with the, you mentioned the space shuttle accident. Uh, as I said, trust your equipment. You know, so I remember walking onto Space Shuttle Columbia thinking, oh, okay, I know I, all the workers are really uh, diligent and I know they worked really hard and this is, this is going to be okay. Well, on the next flight at Columbia, it didn't work out that well. They took some debris on the way up from the external tank foam that came off and they didn't, it, it put a hole in the wing that no one knew about and we ended up losing the crew on the vehicle. It was a bad day when that happened. It was a horrible, worst day of my life. Um, I, I think that, you know, things are going to happen. I, I, I don't know if I fully appreciated it at the time when it first happened, but I started to learn of, uh, how much people were affected by that, who were not astronauts, people who were not in the line of duty, I think took the accident as bad or possibly even worse. They really felt responsible for what happened compared to the way the astronauts might've felt about it. I mean, we lost our friends and this was not a good, it could have been any of us, it, but, but I, but the impression I got from the folks who were in the control center and in the space shuttle program, they felt directly responsible and they felt horrible about it. So they knew that things had to change. And when that happens, it could, I, you know, it could have affected our trust in, in them with the team and the, and the system, but there was no, uh, there's no sugarcoating anything and a full investigation was done. And everyone admitted, hey, a lot of things were, were wrong. When you have a, a major disaster like that, it's never one thing. It's a series of things, both technical and non-technical. And uh, there's going to be plenty of brain, blame to go around. And everyone has to be open to hearing what happened. Everyone bore some responsibility in this. And uh, we are going to stick together as a team to get through this and fly again safely and finish out the things we wanted to do with the space shuttle program. And the way we reacted... It's not that you can't, you can't prevent accidents, but even with your best efforts, bad stuff is going to happen. You don't, no one wanted a shuttle accident to happen, but stuff happens, right? I mean, you never know. It could be a, a pandemic hits and, you know, no, what are you going to do about that? You know, it, it, or whatever else happens, things can happen, but it's how you react to it. And so I think the way we reacted to it with diligence to make sure that we understood what happened, put things in place to make sure it never happened again. And everyone came together without pointing fingers, throwing people under the bus. And I think that's the way the team should react when it hits adversity. You know, it's easy to be a good team member when everyone's winning and high-fiving and, oh, this is great. But what happens when you have a bad issue? Something happens with the product you're trying to sell or the sales pitch doesn't go well or a pandemic hits or something happens that there's nothing you can control uh, with about it. And it just happens. What do you do then? Do you start pointing fingers and calling people names or do you come together? And I'm really proud of the way the team came together. And so we, it, it tested, I think, the trust we talked about. But the way we dealt with that problem, I, I, I think, built the, the team uh, in such a way to make it even stronger, built up the team to make it even stronger than it was before. I think the powerful takeaway in that is understanding that finger pointing is not only building distrust, but it doesn't serve the greater mission. You know, everyone no. involved in that mission was looking for success, was working hard for success. No one went in purposely making any mistake, whether it was technical or, or human error was involved. And so often finger pointing might absolve us from the blame and the guilt, but it certainly doesn't foster a great team environment. 